When investing first got started, the typical investor looked a lot like this. More than 100 years later, at the turn of the century, and investors looked, yeah, pretty much the same. Because of government regulations and high fees, the only way to invest over the last 200 years has been through a broker, and most Main Street investors just never got started. Now thanks to Robinhood though, an investor can look like this, or this, or, or this. Anyone with an internet connection can start investing. Today, Wall Street fits on an app and is available to everyone. But that trend is going beyond the stock market, and that's what I'm most excited about. All you out there in the Bowtie Nation know, I got my start as a venture capital analyst. It was there that I analyzed private companies raising funds from investors before issuing shares on the market. It's a high-risk, high-return market that can see an investment produce nothing, or it can produce the kind of returns Mike Markula got as the first outside investor in Apple, turning $250,000 into 203 million in just three years. But before now, the VC investment market has been really narrow. Up young private companies lacked the capital from private investors to really scale their business, so they had to go public and raise through the stock market. Today, it's entirely different though. The number of unicorns, private companies valued at a billion dollars or more is growing into a force. In just a few years, these companies have reached the kind of market share and stability you once only saw from public heavyweights. Take SpaceX, for example. It's still private and already valued at more than $120 billion. And this is how the profits in private markets work. The more potential a company has, the easier it is to raise funds and the faster it develops. It's a virtuous cycle. A SpaceX can raise as many rounds as it needs. It grows each time, so even though there's more investors, it's a larger pie to go around. But of course, it begs the question, why hasn't everyone become SpaceX investors or invested in these private companies? And the problem is, until now, private equity investments have been the exclusive turf of major investors, specialized funds, and private wealth. The entry to invest was either too high or too complex, even for most professionals. But that is changing now, and I wanna highlight four websites here where you can start investing in pre-IPO companies, each platform with a different threshold for investing. Later, I'll also show you what I'm looking for when I invest on these platforms and how to know which app is right for you. If you've already invested in private companies, you've probably already heard of Forge, one of the larger platforms for institutional investors. Forge links institutional investors with private companies as well as insiders looking to sell their shares, and its portfolio management tool is one of the best. Now, for beginners, Forge and a lot of these apps are going to seem a little complicated, so I've tried to include a couple of apps for ease of use as well. The downside, and don't click out when I say this, but the downside on Forge is it's minimum of $100,000 to invest. I'll highlight other pre-IPO apps later that allow any investor to participate and at much lower minimums, but those old school platforms are still targeting the wealthy and the institutional investors. I wanted to include Equities In for its unique business model, targeting employees of private companies to sell their equity shares. It's a great strategy because it gives the site opportunities to invest outside those announced deals when the companies are fundraising. Now, Equities In is also only open to accredited investors, but I'm gonna share another app later that anyone can use. Remember, because the SEC doesn't think Main Street investors are smart enough to make their own decisions, only those with a million dollars net worth or making over $200,000 a year, those accredited investors are allowed to invest in some of these early stage company deals. It's a crap deal and slowly changing with those crowdfunding laws, but it's still just how it is. Equities In works exclusively with private companies that have already raised capital from those large institutional investors. And that means lots of private investors that might be willing to sell their shares. Then the platform acts as a marketplace, buying the shares sold by employees or investors packaging them into a fund, and then offering that to new investors. And that unique model also gives it access to a lot of companies. You can browse companies, put them on your watch list, and when the platform sources shares, it lets you know. And the minimum investment here ranges from 10 to 20,000, so a little lower, but the last two platforms are gonna beat even that. Equities In is a good platform if you already know enough about the private market that, that you really don't need as much analysis as you're gonna get with some of these other platforms. Now, the Republic platform is available to non-accredited platforms for a limited number of deals, but it does have a good selection of debt and equity offers, and the minimum is as low as $100 for some of these. And some of these deals also include crowdfunding perks like merchandise or a membership program. I do want you to be careful here, though. What Republic is offering is crowdfunding and investing in early stage startups. Now, the risks here are gonna be higher than investing in some of those later stage private companies which the other platforms offer. Now another downside to Republic and really most of the platforms that have these deals available to non-accredited investors is they're offering these investments under what's being called a crowd safe structure, which I hate that name because it, it makes it sound like it's a safe investment. The crowd safe structure actually stands for Simple Agreement for Future Equity. So it's not really a direct investment in the company, 
but a right to future equity or cash equivalent, whichever management chooses. I'm not a fan of these because I'd rather invest directly in the company or in a fund that's holding the shares directly, but, but there's just not much of a choice right now for those non-accredited investors. Disraptor is still limited to accredited investors, but the minimum investment is down to $1,000, which makes it much easier to build a portfolio of investments. It's an easy to use mobile app and offers all the information you need to make a decision in these companies. Unlike Republic, Disraptor offers investments in those larger, later stage private companies, a less risky part of the private equity market because, because these companies are already better established. Analysts narrow deals down to only the best companies at that pre-IPO stage and show you the market opportunities, business model, and the risks for each investment. You can make your investment and track your portfolio of the companies right on the app. And over the last four years, investors on the app have been able to invest in companies like Robinhood, Airbnb, Palantir, and Lemonade, all before they went public, and the strategy has generated an average 33% annual return. Finding deals like SpaceX is always difficult because of that demand for the shares. You won't find it on Forge or Equities In, but Disraptor is now on its second offer of SpaceX. Elon Musk's space exploration and services company has already raised more than $10 billion in funding from investors like NASA, Google, and Fidelity for a valuation of $127 billion. That makes it the second most valuable private company in the world. Morgan Stanley estimates that deep space exploration alone could be a $700 billion market by 2030, along with launch services at $32 billion and satellite internet a $19 billion market, according to Allied Research. In fact, a survey by Morgan Stanley found institutional investors and industry experts believe SpaceX could be more valuable than Tesla, currently valued at $963 billion, even after this year's sell-off. The current investment round is open only until September 30th at that $83 per share. That's already up from the previous round in May at $70 a share. SpaceX has already generated more than $2 billion in sales, so it's one of the less risky ways to play this part of the private market, especially compared to those early stage companies testing their product or their market. Now, which platform is right for you is actually gonna be a fairly easy decision, usually based on your experience and how much you can invest. For non-accredited investors, you really don't have much of a choice. For the accredited investors, I like Disraptor for that lower minimum investment. And the number of deals available on the app isn't the highest, but that lower minimum allows me to invest across multiple deals to really diversify my portfolio. Check out that SpaceX deal available on Disraptor now with a link below, or click on the video to the right for the three IPO deals I'm watching, including two others from Elon Musk. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.